Hello everyone and welcome to our Tech Tuesday tutorial number 39. Today we explain how to do a reverse Google image search. Did you know that you can not only search Google with words, but that you can use an image to search with? Yeah, you can upload an image as your search term and resulting in information that you might not otherwise get. You might get similar images, other sizes of that image, identification of the contents of the image, and sites that include that image. Let's see some examples. Right, so when you go to Google Images at images.google.com or by going to Google and then clicking on the Image tab, you see this little icon here? You can click this to search by image. You either provide the URL for it or you can click on the Upload an Image tab and choose a file. So let's say you found some strange plants in the woods and you took a picture of them. You weren't really sure if that was poison oak or anything like that. Uh, you do a Google image search. There it is. Kind of gives you a little bit more. You can see the differences between poison ivy and so on. You can see visually similar images to the, like that. And you might be able to help identify that plant or that bug or whatever else. Another example is, let's say you wanted to identify a place that you saw like in some wallpaper or somewhere online. And you hadn't been there. You just had this picture of it. So you upload that. And sometimes it's not the most useful result. Island in the middle of nowhere. When I go here to this Huffington Post article, I'm not going to subject you to it. Uh, unfortunately, it's just full of spam and stuff like that. And the picture is not even on the page. So I might find that, you know, it may be best if I just go over here to visually similar images and see if there's uh, more websites that have it on there. And if you hover over an image, it tells you where it's located. So in this case, it's on Pinterest. The rest of these don't look like the right place. So I'm going to try Pinterest in this case. And this says Aogashima Island. Mm, that looks actually more interesting. So I can select Aogashima and right click and choose search Google for this. And sure enough, there's the uh, Google information card over on the right hand side, which tells me I'm in, I'm in luck. I can then look at the Wikipedia article for it and learn more about it. Sometimes you have to dig a little bit deeper to find out the information you really want on a Google image search, particularly if the image is a little bit obscure. So a third example actually pertains to information literacy. A few years ago, someone uploaded a picture of a guy sitting next to a dead triceratops and with the caption of, you know, these poachers are getting out of hand and they're killing these innocent animals. Kid you not, a lot of people freaked out over it over Facebook, not even thinking, hmm, triceratopses aren't real. But they didn't even honestly uh, recognize the person in the picture, which just happens to be Steven Spielberg. Quick little Google image search would have returned this and would have told you that this is indeed uh, part of the Jurassic Park set. So uh, it's kind of strange. I know it sounds funny, but a lot of people kind of flipped out over that and thought it was real. So a fourth example might be that, let's say you find a really particularly good artist that you like and you want to learn more about him, but all you have is a picture that you saw on a website. In this case, you can upload any kind of art, find out what the name of the art piece is, who the artist is, and so on. Sometimes you take a picture of a location that you took from maybe from an angle that is not particularly popular and it's not an image that exists up on the web that much. So in this case, um, if you upload something, this is not one that I took, but it's an, an example of a fairly obscure picture. You might find that something is in a different language. You can then right click and search for that uh, and find out kind of a little bit more about that and where it is, but it still doesn't seem to tell me very much. And if I went to it, I might uh, still have a tough time. So again, if you go to visually similar images, you might be able to find an image of that same location at a different angle that is probably more popular in that case. This is on travel ban. And so in this case, um, it's turning up a little bit more information. I can actually right click and search Google for this image. This does a reverse image search just right there in your browser. And when I do that, I see uh, that this is called Prekestolen. And this is a cliff in Norway. And I can then go to Wikipedia and learn a little bit more about that cliff. Then it identifies it. But it took a few steps to do that. So sometimes you have to be a little bit more dedicated in your searching for this stuff. But it, it's pretty interesting internet sleuthing either way. I should note that there are a couple ways to search for Google Image Search. As you saw, we could upload. We can uh, paste the URL. You can right click on it and search for Google Image. You can actually drag and drop it into there as well. If you're on mobile, you can long press an image and search Google for this image as well. All right, so I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, go ahead and uh, hit that like button. Heck, why not support us and click that subscribe button. Leave a comment on idea for Tech Tuesday in the future in the box below. Share this video with your friends, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.